All right, what's up? How's it going, guys? It's time for us to actually endure more of this absolute nightmare of a fucking game. And since it's that time, we're gonna board the gummy ship to our next evil destination full of evil Disney demons. And space pirates, clearly. Right, cool, I'm doing good so far. I haven't crashed and burned into Mars or gotten shot to death, so that's good news. I don't know what the fuck that thing is, so I'm staying away from that. Shit. I thought I had more depth than that. Is the yellow bubble good? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that does, but whatever. Alright, so I did do something. I leveled up a little bit off screen, so we shouldn't have any hang ups, I hope. Unless the demons prove to be too powerful and, you know, the goodness of Sora and all the happy go lucky Disney animals can't help me, in which case we are totally fucking screwed, so. I mean, honestly, they could be like evil Deadite Kandarian demons that sprout tentacles and like spew profanity and slurs and shit at me, and it's like, oh, it's fine as long as you have your heart in it and you're true to yourself and all that stupid Disney bullshit. I hate that crap. Just once, I want them to make a Disney movie that's like incredibly dark where nothing turns out well. Because Disney always has those fucking sing along, sing song fucking bullshits. Line playthrough of a 20 year old game? Yeah, I've never played it before. Like, I've seen my friend play uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 a little bit, and I've seen him play Kingdom Hearts 2, but I've never played one myself. So I have no idea what I'm doing, I have no idea where I'm going. I know the next part is a big whale or something from uh, Pinocchio or some shit like that. But yeah, I've never paid attention to a Kingdom Hearts game before, ever. I know the story is like really convoluted and it's really weird and shit like that. What's up, Son of Thumb? Welcome to my shit channel where I play shit video games incredibly poorly. They did make that Disney movie that's fucked up all the way through. It's called The Black Cauldron. Yeah, I've never heard of it. I gotta watch it though. That's what I want. I want a Disney movie where the evil villain wins. And then you see shit from the villain's perspective and crap like that. That'd be really cool. Like, you know how they uh, made American McGee's Alice or whatever, where Alice was all dark and twisted? They need something like that, but for every Disney movie. Like, every Disney concept. Because the stupid thing is, people seem to believe that all of the Disney movies that have been made are Disney's own original ideas. No, they're not. They're Disney interpretations of these stories. Like, all the character designs and all the lore and shit is all Disney, but, like, yeah. Like, the Little Mermaid, what actually happens in the Little Mermaid is pretty fucked up. It's true, I saw it with my own eyes. What, dinosaurs? They died out, like, thousands and thousands of years ago, Riku, I don't believe you. You know what Sora should do? Push him off this fucking dock and break his legs so he can't cheat in the race that we're gonna have in the future where he lies about being interested in Kairi. He's like, oh no, go for it, bro. I don't want to hit that. She's like seven. Although, to be fair, we look like seven, like right about now, right? Sora looks like he's about to try out for a fucking volleyball team. Or some stupid shit. I don't even know what the fuck Riku is doing dressing up like Ronald McDonald on this fucking island. Maybe that's what's in the secret door back here. Maybe it's Ronald McDonald. Hey, what's up, Seven? How's it going, man? Long time no see. I've been away from Twitch for a while. Ever since I ran into that Kukai motherfucker, I've been off Twitch for a minute. That guy pissed me the fuck off. Hella bad. Sora X Riku looks like Deku and Kachan. A little bit. Except Bakugo would smack the shit out of Deku, and everybody who says they wouldn't and they're meant to be together, nah. 
that's like a sibling rivalry that gets incredibly violent a couple more episodes in. Like, you know when you have that drunk, abusive, alcoholic father and he just yells at you and screams at you and blames you for all his problems and his unemployment? And then everybody's like, oh, just tough through it, buddy. It'll get better. It's like, no, it never gets better. It just gets progressively worse. Yeah, exactly. Bakugo tried to fuck Deku up. Exactly. Oh, no. BSG, what have you done? Guys, this is my mate BSG. He's a very talented Neo player, and he's an incredibly talented Devil May Cry player. And he's an all-around gentleman. Honestly, I highly recommend him. I don't have any mods in here, but let me see if I can do this shit myself. Sorry for the clicking. You're gonna hear a lot of it. Yes, he plays Devil May Cry, Son of Thumb. Absolutely he does. How's it going, BSG? Thank you very much for the host, man. I appreciate it very much. I really enjoyed your Neo stuff, as always. You play circles around me and get your ass beat and somehow still manage to look better than I do. So, props. Yeah, so, uh, we're playing Kingdom Hearts. I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game before, so this is entirely brand new to me. I'm taking a bit of a break from Neo. I'm quite bored with it recently. So I'm kind of trying to broaden my gaming horizons and step out of my comfort zone a little bit. And, uh, this time my comfort zone just happens to be the insides of a, uh, monstrous whale. And a monstrous Disney whale at that. But yeah, like, guys, honestly, anything, like, I'm sure people coming from BSG know exactly what I mean. Anything you need to know about Neo, this man can tell you. Like, any pointers you want, any advice, any builds you want to make. Gonna lurk pretty hard? No, no worries, it's quite late for us. It's like 4.30 right now, honestly, I'm surprised that you're up. Yeah, but I've seen my friend play Kingdom Hearts. I just, I've never played it. I have no idea what the story is. I've never seen any of this, so I have no clue. So I know in the movie Pinocchio that Geppetto gets swallowed up by the whale, but how the fuck does the fish get in here? And why would Pinocchio just go wandering off like that? Like, I don't think they realize, like, they're literally up shit creek without a paddle. Regardless of how many potential planks of wood there are to help them, they are definitely without a paddle. I've warned him not to wander off here. He can be a naughty boy. Even so, he's very precious to me. What the fuck? Alright, dude. Yeah, that's a red flag. I'm out of here, bro. See ya. Hell the fuck no. Definitely not. Hey, what's up, Fiji? Thank you very much for the follow, man. Hope you enjoy yourself here. I know I certainly don't, so I hope you do. See, part of me wants to stay in one place, but part of me also knows that if I do that, I'm going to be, like, eternally fucked forever, so I might as well go wandering off like Pinocchio. It's not like Pinocchio is going to digest or decompose. If anything, he's going to give Monstro splinters, and that's, you know, good advantage for us, so. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. No one cares about Pinocchio? No, Pinocchio's a good boy. He was just corrupted by evil fox demons and shit. Riku's the illest. He's the one that's been in here before anybody. He knows all the fucking shit going on inside Monstro. This man can provide us five-star service. Didn't say he was a bad boy? No, you just heavily implied it. What's up, Fiji? Yeah, so basically Kingdom Hearts, the story from what I gather so far is there's this evil council of evil people and uh, they're like Disney villains and they want to open a big door that goes to a thing or something and uh, from what I gather so far, they need to take advantage of the darkness inside people or something to open it or some shit. And uh, they're collecting princesses. I don't know why, I think they're gonna traffic them to different countries and hold them for ransom because that's pretty goddamn evil, but I'm not an evil Disney villain, so I don't know what they're actually truly up to, and that's probably just a front for some even more fucked up bullshit.
Like, I don't know if you've actually seen Aladdin, but this is a Muslim man that already has shit hard enough as it is. He's obviously a impoverished Muslim man, and then they try and sentence him to death for stealing, like, a loaf of bread or, like, an apple or some shit. Like, this man has it bad enough, seriously. Oh, is the fat guy dead? Okay. Yeah, you can't get to any of the goodies until you kill all the enemies, so... I just gotta make sure I eradicate everything in every room, not give it a chance to survive and prosper and thrive. I want to understand the story of Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I want to find it out for myself, though. Like, I don't want to know what the story is. Kinda defeats the purpose of playing the game if I'm just gonna get told what the story is, right? Like, I know it's pretty convoluted, and like, I know there's like memories and fragments of people and shit. I just don't know what any of them represent, and I don't know what any of them mean. Or what significance or semblance they have, or like, connections they have to anybody else or any of that. Now, I'm assuming the Heartless and, like, the Nobodies are just, like, evil things that you combat and stuff like that. Although, I'm gonna be surprised if Geppetto turns out to not be an evil Disney villain. I'm gonna be really shocked. Seeing as how he was talking about, like, little boys and stuff like that and being inside of a giant whale. I don't know. It's gonna be rather hard for the police to find you inside the body of a monstrous, submerged aqua beast. <laughs> 